Okay, so today's review is a game case. I have this game case. It's an all-in-one game case. So basically, I can put all my physical copies of my Nintendo Switch games in one case. I've had this for maybe a year or two. I mean, I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's sleek. Um, it's kind of big. I should have had a Nintendo Switch game case in comparison, or maybe even a PlayStation one. Um, it's bigger than both of those. So yeah, that's, that's how big it is. I got, you know, all my games in here. So that's what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So 30 of my games can fit in here. I have them kind of categorized, you know, like, I got like Mario games at the top. So Mario Odyssey, Super Mario U Deluxe, Super Mario Party, Mario Kart, Mario Tennis Aces. Then these next two rows I have are Pokemon. So I have Pikachu, Eevee. This is supposed to be Sword and Shield. Um, Sword and Shield, Diamond and Pearl, Arceus, Pokemon Tournament. Right here is for Scarlet and Violet. So perfect that I have two spaces left right there. Well, not really because I'm about to switch it out. Um, this is Breath of the Wild, Zelda. I can't wait till Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. Then I got Smash Bros. Then I just got some other stuff. Octopath Traveler, Labo, which I wish I never bought. Um, Ultimate Alliance 3, Dragon Quest Builders 2. I have two copies because my daughter had one and we'd be playing at the same time and stuff like that. Super Bomberman, which I played like once maybe. I bought this when the Switch came out as well as Zelda. But you know, Breath of the Wild took all my time. Still the best Switch game on the Switch since its release. And then I got um, Xenoverse 2. So those are my games. And now I have this new all-in-one switch case um, I bought from Amazon. I don't know how to say this. I don't know if this Hey Wing. I don't know if that's supposed to be a W or a Y. Hey Ying. I don't. I don't know how to say it, but it's a switch for. I don't. Why they word it like that? Game card box for Switch is probably what it should have said. But um, this holds a little bit more games, so it holds 48, almost 20 games more at 18, and it also holds 24 micro SD cards. Um, it has the magnetic suction, so when I close it, it's supposed to, I guess, you know, the magnets are supposed to catch it and it's supposed to close, and I guess it won't be as hard to open since it's magnetized. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open this one up. I like this one. Well, I, I hope I like it. Um, more so because of the small form factor. So it seems, I mean, not seems, it is a lot smaller. So as you can see, like, it's night and day, the size comparison. And then at the same time, so that's the, I like I like the little, you know, the little cover. Um, you know, this one has kind of, it's kind of looked like a Nintendo Switch if you hold it like this, like the buttons right here. Actually, yeah, it'll be like this. But yeah, but this one has, you know, like the Game Boy case. So yeah, I do feel that feels nice actually. The um the little magnet so it just catches it when it closes and then you gotta put just a little bit of force to it to um you know to open. So it's not gonna just open us on its own and just you know fall out. So as you can see right here are the slots for the micro SD card. So you could put the micro SD card right here in the small slots and then you could put the game on top of it. So this side has 24, and then this side has 24. So, so that's pretty dope. So I'm gonna put my games up here, transfer my games. Yeah, I, I like this. I like, I like how that fits. It's real, it's real flush. So that's nice too. So I'm gonna put these over here. Yeah, I like, I like how that feels. So we got six across. Okay, I could work with that. Got some space for some extra stuff. 
I'm gonna put the Pokemon games down here since I got more of those games. So I got my Pokemon right here. Yeah, that looks nice. I like this a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was good with this, but I don't even, you know, Amazon just be showing you stuff that you don't even need. And you be like, dang, I, I didn't know I needed that. So I got Arceus and then Pokin right here. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks real nice, okay? I'm gonna do the backside with these games. I wish I had physical copies for some of the other stuff that I have, like, I wish Pokemon Unite, I could just have a physical copy of that. Um, what else? Like Octopath, what else? Bravely Default is not here, so it's in one of my Switches. So I'm missing Bravely Default. There's another Square Enix game that came out um, with the black cover. Triangle Strategy. I need to, yeah, I, actually I don't even have that, but I need to get that. But there's too many games to play, not enough time in a day. Actually, let me put Breath of the Wild. So Breath of the Wild 2 is gonna go right there. Then Breath of the Wild 1, then Zelda. So I can I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I need to get that other Mario Party game and then I, I can move them over. Backside, I don't have too much. So I'm gonna put Octopath up here. Bravely Default can go right there. Triangle Strategy can go right there. I'm gonna put Super Smash Bros right here. So that's perfect because, you know, it's still tight. Um, um, I mean, it's Mario and Friends, so it can go in the Mario. It can go in the Mario line. What else we got? All my games almost fit on this first part. What I got? Six right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, yeah, they all could have, you know, I, I should buy a couple more of these. So just as I get games, you know, I can fill them up and I won't have to, you know, buy no more. I think one more might be good, actually. Because that's, that's like almost 100 games. So I'm putting, um, how do I want to do this? I'll put that right there. That right there. I have my Square Enix games up here, so Octopath, wherever my Bravely Default is, um, Triangle Strategy. I think I had Trials of Mana, or did I have it on PlayStation? I probably have it on PlayStation, because you know, one thing I don't like about the Switch is there is no trophy system. That really bothers me. I don't I don't like that. I, I want that sense of accomplishment, like, that I'm doing something when I play these games. So, boom, there we go. Um, yeah, that looks nice. I like I like how that fits and it's, it's a lot smaller. It's, it's maybe, it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, it's just, it's just slightly thicker. And it's a lot smaller. Yeah, slightly thicker and a lot smaller. A lot smaller. I could I could fit like three of these. One, two. I mean, I could fit almost three of these, of these, with this real estate. But that is nice. They have this in black, and they have this in a, a few other designs. They have like a black Game Boy type, you know, thing, and then they have it in a few others. So, yeah, this is dope. I really like this. I just wanted to do a quick review on that. Yeah, that junk is just, it's just flush. I, I like the feeling of it being flushed. It's not popping out. It's not popping out and it's not like sunk in where I have to like dig it. And then you got this, like if you wanna just grab, grab one like that, you could just grab it like that. So you got that little space so you can grab it. It has the slots for the micro SDs behind it if you have there's no, I don't know what reason you would need to have, you know, what is it, 24 slots? Because I think this whole one has 12 and then the back has 12. So it's 24 micro SD slots. I don't know why you would need that many, but just in case you did, for whatever reason, or if it's for multiple people, y'all can all keep y'all's cards right there. Um, but yeah, this is dope. 
I really like this. Yeah, that's nice. That is my review on this. Um, you can find this on Amazon. I will try to, I, I'll just take a screenshot and show you exactly it is, what it is that I bought and how much it was. So um, if y'all are interested, y'all can just go get that. I don't have no affiliation. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. This channel ain't that big. I'm not getting no money for it. I'm just doing a review on it because I wanted to do a review on it. As I buy stuff, I want to do reviews just so people can get like um, a real review. Simple as that. Like, they're not paying me nothing. Nobody's paying me nothing. YouTube ain't even paying me. I'm not monetized. I, my channel's not big enough to get monetized yet. Like, this is just a real review. This is something that I liked. I wanted to do a video on it, so I just did a video on it. But this shit is dope. I like this. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all next time.